will be with other uh, jailbirds with um, fundraising and calling other people. And if they haven't raised their bail already, we encourage them to get on the phone and, and uh, try to get bailed out and uh, make it a fun event because the more fun they have with it, the more uh, fun the others that will be donating to them will, will be feeling a little bit more generous. This lockup had a Hollywood setting with even some familiar faces from Hollywood past. Jailbirds had an opportunity to raise some of their bail money ahead of time, but phone calls had to be made in order to get every jailbird released. Our very own MDA host Wendy Brown was Judge Wendy for the day, and our ever-enthusiastic host Bob Nichols raised a little ruckus. What's my bail, bail going to be, Judge Wendy? Uh, let me see. Uh, $10,000. $10,000? I'm well, sorry. who did I hurt? I didn't hurt anybody. You know a lot of people, Bob. All you got to yeah, do is make some phone calls. Yeah, but $10,000? He's got 250 Hi, my name is Eddie Stevens. I'm with the law firm of Eddie Stevens. This is my third year being arrested, and uh, my record is getting extensive. I still have to make a few phone calls. I'm doing that now. I'm trying to raise the last few dollars, all for a good cause, and let's raise some money for MDA. Meanwhile, Bob was trying to make his bail to no avail. Some wife you are! My name is uh, Anne-Marie Sharp. I'm with the city of West Palm Beach. And um, this has been a very, very awesome experience. Hello? Hi, my name is Deborah Morgan. I'm with Palm Beach Harvest. I'm the executive director. And this is my first time doing this MDA event. It's really been a lot of fun. Um, the community's been generous especially when you tell them that you're in jail. Sorry, that was your three calls. You're staying in jail. <laughs> That's okay, Bob. At least the meal at this jail is not your standard grub. A delicious meal was provided by Outback Steakhouse. My name is Jennifer Schwartz. I'm the manager of the Outback in West Palm Beach on Village Boulevard. And we are here today supporting MDA. We feel very strongly about being associated with it and we want to help out Jerry Lewis and the whole telethon and we donated food today so that we could be a part of all of this and just our ongoing helping out the community. My name is Gary Webb and I'm with Commonwealth Florida Materials. We are a concrete producer in Florida and uh, this is my first opportunity to participate in the Muscular District Association. It's been a great experience. It was a fun day in jail and even though Bob didn't raise his bail, he helped out his cellmates. Doug, I want to tell you something, pal. Your dad's in jail, and we're not going to let him out. This is for real. We're collecting money to help fight neuromuscular diseases that are covered by the Muscular Dystrophy Association, and we need you to help get your dad out of jail. So I am doing this because I have spent time with these kids, and they're so special, and I look at my family, and I'm so blessed that everybody is healthy, and, you know, once you spend time, uh, and see the special challenges these folks have to deal with. Uh, how can you not do it? That's my question. So um, we're going to raise as much money as we can. Today. And that's exactly what happened. This lockup brought in over seventy thousand dollars for the MDA. Bail has been met. Oh, that was a wonderfully successful event, and we have some of the folks here with us right here in the studio to present their checks, the wonderful donations that they raised. Tell us your name and Hi. where you're from. My name is Eddie Stevens, and these are my kids, Christopher and Matthew, who helped us out. They helped uh, raise a little bell for the MDA. And All give, right. Give a check, Christopher, you want to present? And, yes, let's see. Would you tell us, Dad, how much that was for? $4,060. And you are with the law offices of Eddie Stevens. Thank you so much. Excellent job, my friends. Good job. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We will look forward to seeing you again next year. You can come on across. Thank you, guys. Good job. Come on over. Another one of our participants. Go ahead and tell us who the um, check is from. I think it was your daughter that raised yes, the money. Yes, I'm Martha, represented uh, Dr. Sylvia Zoom at Sunfest, an artist who paints with his nose. It sounds incredible. But the story of why he came to Florida and who he came to see is even more inspiring. Gilles Legacy creates beautiful works of art using what he has, imagination, talent, and his nose. Gilles has cerebral palsy. He grew up in Canada, the sixth of 11 children. The only one with a disability, he was shunned by his father. 
Gilles never left his house until he was 17. It was at the age of eight that he discovered he could paint. My sister had a paint set on the floor. She left the room. When she left, she told me, don't touch that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Painting, along with the support from at least one parent, his mom, gave Gilles hope. I thought to myself, if I can do this, I can do more and more and more. His art gave him a purpose, which was reinforced when he met his wife, Sandy. On the outside, yes, he was, you know, very different looking, and, you know, that didn't stop me one bit. I didn't even look at the handicap. I was looking at what was inside the mind and what was coming out of the heart. Gilles and Sandy live in California and inspire everyone they meet, even those they haven't met. Three thousand miles away in Royal Palm Beach, Chris and Wendy Soderman were trying to help their son, Corey, who also has cerebral palsy, find his purpose in life. He had had a real difficult transition into high school and was very depressed really at, at that time and really thought he had thoughts of uh, not you know why was I living should I continue having a twin brother who can do it all made it even harder on Corey when your twin can drive your twin is dating um, your twins world is getting bigger and bigger and you have the same mental ability as that brother and yet your body doesn't allow you the freedoms that you are watching daily happen with your twin Despite the obvious differences, Kyle and Corey have an undeniable and everlasting bond. But Kyle leaves for college in the fall. So um, we were really searching for someone to give him some guidance. That's when the unexpected happened. In an oddly prophetic manner, a camp counselor mentioned that Corey reminded him of a remarkable artist, Gilles Legacy. The Sodermans checked out Jill's website, sent an email, and ignited what would become a treasured cross-country bond. Wendy and Chris shared Jill's story with the students at the school they own in Royal Palm Beach. I saw how passionate.